Hey everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor. Uh, we are going to go through some trigonometry today. This is going to deal specifically with the sine function, and I'm going to go through three examples that will run you through how to work with not only the sine function, but the calculator as well. So uh, let's get going, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so there we have a right triangle. We have, we're looking for an angle, and we have two of the sides. So we will go to our trigonometry functions, and I mean, as we're going through the sine function, it makes sense that we'll be dealing with that one right there. So we can go and label our sides again based on that identified angle. Oh, first of all, sorry, there's your formula. The sine function, or the angle, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So now let's go and identify, there's your opposite, and there's your hypotenuse. It's as simple as that. So you just plug those numbers in, and 10 divided by 17 gets you 0.588. Great. What do we do from here? That doesn't give us the angle. It's not 0.588. We have to now go to our calculator and figure that out. How we take that number, that's just the relationship between the opposite and the hypotenuse. we got to figure out the angle from that. So what we'll do is we'll put the 0.588 down there and we'll bring in our trusty little calculator. And how you do this is you just put in, enter in 0.588. And now on the calculator, this is kind of a bit of a reverse engineering here. What we do is we hit second function and then the SIN or the sine button. And what you'll end up with is the angle. So second function, sine, and then you'll find the angle. And that works out to be 36. It's as simple as that. So by going 10 divided by 17 to get 0.588, that's the relationship between the two sides. And you plug that number into your calculator going, plug the number in, second function, sine, you get the angle of 36. And there you go. It's not that hard once you get the hang of it. So that's finding the angle. Now, what if we didn't, what if we had the angle already and we want to find one of the sides? Well, we'll try an example there as well. So, we're still using the sine function. We have an angle of 27. And in this case, the opposite is 18. So, we'll, there you go, we'll put those down, the opposite and the hypotenuse. We'll put our formula down. But now we're not trying to find the angle. We already know that. we got to rearrange the formula to solve for the hypotenuse. And that works out to be the opposite over sine. So the hypotenuse is equal to 18 divided by sine 27. Well, we can't work with sine 27 as it is. We have to change that into a number. In fact, Sine 27 basically will give us a relationship number between, between the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we'll move this guy over here. And once again, we'll bring in our calculator. All right, so far so good. So this case, we know the angle. Just plug the angle in now. And in the last example, we had to hit second function. We don't need to do that. We just go right on, hit the sign button. And this will give us the relationship between the two. And it works out to be 0.454. So now we can, we can uh, take the sign out, replace it with the 0.454, go through that calculation to find out that the hypotenuse is 39.65 compared to an opposite of 18. And that makes sense. The hypotenuse is always the largest side of the three sides. And with an angle of 27, it's more than twice the size. All right, let's just try one more example here. Okay, same thing. There's your side. So we're looking for the opposite. There's the formula. And we have to rearrange that formula to solve for the opposite. So it equals the hypotenuse multiplied now by whatever the relationship is for sine of 20 degrees. Now, I'm not going to go through the calculator this time, but you just want to type in 20 and then hit sine. And what you'll find is it's 
10.342. All right, and it works out to be 10.94, which once again makes sense. The hypotenuse is going to be bigger than the opposite. And in this case, it's a lot bigger, three times the size. And that all works out. That all makes sense. Well, I hope this one works for you guys. Uh, the next one is going to show the cosine video, or a cosine video, the cosine uh, function. And there'll be three examples of that as well. And then after that, we'll do another one on the tangent uh, function. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.